on Swarm Hat. I haven't talked about penguins in a long time. Penguins are a big hoax animal, as in penguins in Antarctica. Now, there is a type of aquatic bird that is black and white splotched. Maybe you've seen him at the zoo. I've seen him at the zoo. And the first time that I saw him at the zoo, I was kind of like, okay, well, that's not what I expected. You know, when, when somebody says penguins this way, let's go, let's go see the penguins. In your mind, after all the programming that you've received, you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to go see these things. No. When you go to the zoo and see a penguin, it's just a black and white splotched aquatic bird. You'll never see this type of penguin. You won't see a macaroni penguin. The ones that you remember being fascinated by as a child, you don't see those. You just see kind of a plain looking black and white splotchy aquatic bird. Okay, that's... It's not this. These are hoaxes. And this story is ridiculous. People will believe anything. Giant six foot eight penguin discovered in Antarctica. Okay, I'm just going to say this really quick. I have a video on it somewhere. I do not believe, you know, the biggest flat earth, the biggest flat earth, uh, I don't know, deception, all of the people, just think of how all of the people who are the leaders of the flat earth movement, how they all just agree on the map. And the map makes no sense. Think of the north. Think of Alaska, Canada, uh, you know, Russia, Siberia. These are immense icy lands. What does the flat earth shill map do? It smushes all of those icy huge, which are supposed to be huge, these immense ice lands all get smushed into the center on the shill flat earth map. How does that make any sense? And then they have Antarctica as this immense ice ring around. They're thinking of it, I mean, they're shills. Look at their skulls and bones, they're inverts, so they're lying to you. The obvious truth is that the north, those immense icy lands, that's the ice wall. The north is the ice wall around us, and the south is the center. I've never been to Antarctica. I don't believe that they allow normal people to go to Antarctica. I think they'll stop you if you try to go there. I don't think it's icy. I, I just don't think that Antarctica is icy. If you do the, the Google Earth thing and you go look at Antarctica, you know, we're supposed to have satellites all over that can photograph everything. But Antarctica, you can tell, is just really bad Photoshop stuff. It's not reality. Back to... Okay, back to this. Penguins are a hoax. This, this type of penguin is a hoax. There is a species of black and white splotchy aquatic birds, but this is puppetry, midgets, and suits. These days, just CGI. It's Photoshop. They will tell you the truth, though. Modern emperor penguins are certainly statuesque. These could just be model. This could just be taxidermy, a fake animal. Statuesque. So you can read it. the size is almost <clears throat> excuse me. The size is almost incomprehensible. It's not real. They seriously they talk about LeBron James multiple times, so I don't know what's up with that. The birds, thirty seven million year old fossilized remains, they can always they can always nail it down to exactly Oh, you know, exactly 37. Not 36 million years ago. Not They'll never give you confidence intervals. This dating stuff, it's BS. They can just pull out whatever numbers they want. And 37, like three sevens. The, this article, I don't want to get into the number coding, but it was heavily seven number coding. Number coded, just things adding up to multiples of seven. Um... It was truly the Godzilla of aquatic birds. Well, what's Godzilla? A made-up monster. Right? They will tell you what is going on if you just if you get the game. The game is it's all a joke, it's all BS, it's all a lie. And to have fun with it. They want to have fun with it. So they will openly tell you things and if you're reading compact, it's like a, it's a new type of reading comprehension where you need to just start to take things literally, just literally take things at face value and see what people are telling you. It, 
They're telling you it was truly the Godzilla. Because Godzilla is a fake, made-up monster. Okay, I mean, see here's just a, an example of the 7. There were just all sorts of things, like 14s, which is double 7, 25. 2 plus 5 is 7. I mean, whatever. The point is they just make stuff up. And there's certain numbers that they like more than other numbers. That's really all that that's about. It's like, whose line is it anyways? The main point of whose, li whose line is it anyways is that the points are made up and nothing matters. It's because th that's a reflection of reality. It's fun to imagine a time between 35 and 40 million years ago. They just want your head in these bizarre spaces that don't exist. Number years of that magnitude doesn't exist. They want you thinking about outer space land where distances that just don't exist. These, they want you thinking of galaxies far, far away that just don't exist. They just want your head up in the clouds. I'm just going to end with these. These are photos that I have no idea why not everybody knows about. Not these ones. Um, there's a lot of just obvious fake penguin stuff out there. But if you go back and you look at the very first, what they tell you is the first Antarctica expedition, look at the penguin photos from that. They're really bad taxidermy, like really, really, really bad. So if penguins were real, why did they have to fake them in the past? Real animals don't look really obviously fake in the past, and now they look more realistic. That's not how real animals work. Look, they're obvious puppets. It's hilarious. It's funny. See, it's, the game is how funny it is. See how funny that people believe this? It's so funny what people will believe. Seeing is believing, right? God bless everyone.